This video will show how to change range kerning in order to adjust the spacing just between um, selected characters. So if we choose our shape tool and click on our text, we actually need to go to text up here and say text properties and that will open up the text properties docker over here. So if we notice that there's not enough space or maybe too much space between characters, if we want to adjust the space between the K and the E, we just select with our shape tool, the little white dot here in, in front of the K, and that will then adjust the spacing between it and it and the next letter. So if we click on that, we can see right here we've got range kerning. And so you can just click on the up arrow to give it more spacing, or you can click on the down arrow to give it less spacing. So if I wanted to do between the E and the R, I just click on the one in front of the E and do the same thing. So either more spacing or less spacing. You can do more than one at a time. If we wanted to do, let's say, all of these ones here, you could do those all at the same time and give it the same amount of spacing then um, between each of those. So the good thing about range kerning as opposed to, let's just say, dragging this over is it's not giving you extra spacing on the other side here while you're decreasing this spacing here. Also, if I were to grab all of these at once and pull them across, you'll see that it's not adjusting staying on center. Whereas if we're just adjusting range kerning, I can adjust, let's say, the range of all of these at the same time. And it's staying then on center from what it was before. Or if I grab these ones, same thing as, as I make those bigger, it's going to stay on center for me. So if I wanted to change the spacing just between the N and the I, I grab this one and adjust it. So that is what is considered range kerning.